Welcome to the Onward Podcast. This is the 100th episode of the Onward Podcast, and this is Emily Harmon, your host. Many podcasters stop publishing around the seventh episode, and I'm typically very humble. However, I will say I am extremely proud of myself for being persistent and the fact that I have published at least one episode per week, sometimes more, since I retired from working for the United States Navy in May of 2019. And if I looked at my listening stats and only saw a few downloads per episode, I'd have to be honest with you, I'd get discouraged. I want to thank all of my Onward podcast listeners and supporters, and I'm going to start calling you Onwarders. Let's have a tribe of Onwarders. I couldn't do this without your support and the encouraging messages that I receive along the way. In this episode, I'm going to share what I've learned in the past 17 months since I retired. Well, all right, not everything, just the highlights and things that I think will help you as well. And then I'll share my future plans, which include a tweak to the theme and the episode for season three of the Onward podcast, which will start in the winter of 2021. And I'm also going to talk about the Onward movement and what's going on there, let you know what that is. I'll start with sharing my story. Some people listening today may not even know who I am. This may be the first Onward podcast episode that you listen to. And if it is, I hope you listen to many more. My story begins with my decision to attend the United States Naval Academy at the age of 17. And that determined that decision determined the course of the thir- next 38 years of my life. And in retrospect, I'm not even sure if that decision was based on my inner truth. At that age, at age 17, was I listening to my inner truth more or to what other people wanted me to do? I don't know. My mom says I really wanted to go, and I probably did. For the longest time, I felt the need to please others, and I became a chameleon, adapting and acting the way I felt was expected of me. At work, I was a confident overachiever, but my personal life was a whole different story. At age 28, I was married to a man who was verbally abusive. And to be honest, it took a while until I finally found the courage to leave him. And that was right when the abuse started to extend to my children. Years passed, and as a single parent, I focused on achieving, moving ahead, pushing through, Yet no matter how much I accomplished, I never felt good enough. Something was always missing. I even got remarried and re-divorced without recognizing that Chameleon Emily was the one making the calls and the real me was nowhere to be seen. I wasn't even sure who she was. In 2014, a friend invited me to the World Domination Summit. You can Google that and look it up. And it's, it's focused on how to live a remarkable life in a conventional world. An idea that I could create a life that I loved was planted in my mind, but I wasn't ready to take action yet. (laughs) You know how it is. You go to a conference or an event, you come back all excited. But when I came back, it took three years of promotion and a deep sense of unfulfillment to finally decide it was time to let go. Despite what everyone was telling me I should do, I retired and I created the Onward podcast. In fact, I created the Onward podcast during the last six months of working for the Navy, and I published the first seven episodes on the day that I retired. And just as I was about to begin a new life after retirement on my terms, less than one month after I retired, my children's father was diagnosed with cancer, and he unfortunately ended up losing his battle five months later. After I put everything on hold for my children again, and I experimented, I mean, I experienced a roller coaster of emotions. And I decided it was really time for me to commit. The first time in my life, I put myself first. And I'm not going to lie, I had some trouble slowing down and quieting my mind. And quite frankly, I still do sometimes. I knew that I had trouble slowing down when I was working. And I thought slowing down would come easily to me when I retired. But I was wrong. Being busy, I guess you could say, was my drug of choice. (laughs) So I started doing something I never really done before, like the inner work. I mean, I'd gone to counseling and stuff, but I really started to work on myself and I learned the most valuable tool. I learned how to listen to the guidance of my inner voice, my higher self, my intuition to create a roadmap for an authentic and fulfilling life. I live life on my terms and I'm still on my journey, but now I'm living a life I'd never could have imagined before. I'm pursuing my dreams with confidence 
I'm creating life, my life on my own terms, and I get to help others do the same. I'll share more about how you can join me on my journey and start your own journey in this episode. First, I want to highlight some lessons I've learned in the past 17 months that might help you as well. One, hosting a podcast is fun. I love it. I've never, I've met people from all over the United States and all over the world that I would not have otherwise met. And if you ever find yourself thinking about hosting a podcast, my recommendation is do it, do it. Even if you wonder if people will listen, do it. Even if you don't know how you can learn, I did. There are plenty of people who are more than willing to help you do it. Even if it's not perfect, do it. Even if you're scared, wonderful things will happen in your life when you leave your comfort zone. And like I said, this is the 100th episode of the Onward podcast. And in the show notes, I'll provide a link to the top 10 episodes based on the number of downloads. If you ever have a question about starting a podcast, you can always reach out to me. My contact information is in the show notes, and you can also find ways to connect with me on my website, emilyharman.com. That's H-A-R-M-A-N. So that's number one. Hosting a podcast is fun. Number two, Becoming an entrepreneur is also fun and it's very challenging and some might find it a lonely experience. When I worked for the Navy, I helped small businesses all the time. And now as I start my business, I'm implementing some of the advice I gave to small business owners that were seeking to do business with the federal government. I'm not going to do business with the federal government, but this advice applies anyway. A few lessons I've learned about being an entrepreneur. Know your niche. Know your target audience and everything about them. Know what words they use, understand their problems. I know as an entrepreneur with a big heart, you want to help everybody. The niche thing, it's really important. Networking. Networking is also important. It's something that I didn't learn to do until I started working in the Navy's small business programs in 2005. And if you're an introvert like me, it doesn't come easily. But I promise the more you do it, the easier it gets. I have met so many awesome people, especially during COVID, that have helped me and that I've been able to help. And it goes both ways. When you help others, it comes back to you tenfold. Group coaching and masterminds. I just can't say enough about participating in group coaching as well as masterminds. I'm in three group coaching programs now, and they're all focused on different aspects of my business and my life. If you know me, you know I'm somebody who gets stuff done. And that being said, being in a group coaching program with like-minded people is motivating. And you not only learn from the coach, you learn from others in the group. And we motivate each other as well. I'm getting accomplishing much more having been in these groups. And it comes easier because I learn from so many different people. I don't have to learn the lessons the hard way. I'm in a mastermind with five other people, and this mastermind is focused on government contracting and serving veterans, which is my past line of work. And my contribution is the authentic leadership piece. More to come on this, but and we're also publishing a book in February in 2021. And once it's available for pre-order, I'll let you know through my podcast and social media. Group coaching and masterminds help us get out of our comfort zone. Nothing ever grows in a comfort zone. There are To be honest, there's times I want to quit, times I feel down. And the people in my group coaching programs really help motivate me and keep me going. Here's a short story about networking and group coaching to drive my point home. I'm in a group coaching program with people from all over the world, and it's a program aimed at facilitating joint ventures. Through this program, I met a woman whose coaching niche is women starting a business while raising children. Well, my children are grown and out of the house, and we don't have the same target audience. So, oh, well, no opportunity for us to collaborate, right? Wrong. We're both developing an online course, something neither of us has done before. So we're going to collaborate, hold each other accountable, and encourage each other along the way. If it wasn't for this coaching program and networking, I would have never met her. So number one, if you want to start a podcast, do it. Hosting a podcast is fun. Number two, networking, group coaching, masterminds, all important. Number three, life is short. I know we say it all the time. And I did too. It was just a saying, yep, life is short. No, life is short. And we need to be intentional about how we live our lives. Life is short hit home for me as I watched my former husband and father of my children take his last breath 
on December 11th, 2019. And I've discussed this in other episodes, so I'm not going to go into detail here, but to fight, suffice it to say, his death changed my life. He gave me a gift. His death got me thinking about how I want to feel when I'm in that situation, lying in bed, approaching my last breath. I want to have no regrets. I want to know that I've helped others. I want to know that my life made a difference. And that's why I founded the Onward Movement six months after Bruce's death. I have an unstoppable dream. This dream motivates me every single day. It's not a fad. My unstoppable dream is to inspire you and at least 10,000 others to bravely embrace authenticity and release the fear of judgment so you can create the life of your dreams with confidence. 10,000 people? That's impossible, someone might say. No, it isn't. I believe that in a world of over 7.5 billion people, there are at least 10,000 seeking what's available in the Onward Movement. In fact, 10,000 is likely too small of a goal. I hope that you believe in this dream and join us and invite others to join the Onward Movement, people who resonate with our vision and people who want to help others and help themselves. I'm just starting my own group coaching program. It's called the Onward Accelerator Program, and I've assembled a small group of Onwarders who are participating in the beta course, helping me as I develop the course and then launch it in early 2021. The course will cover the Onward Movement Roadmap designed to help you bravely embrace authenticity, release the fear of judgment, and create the life of your dreams with confidence. Eventually, I'm going to publish a book with all the Onward podcast episodes, and I'm also going to start an Onward Movement Foundation as a way to help more people. I can't get to these as quickly as I'd like to, but they're in my plans. And the announcement I made about tweaking the Onward podcast is this. Currently, the Onward podcast features authentic conversations on facing adversity and moving forward, and I absolutely love every single interview, and I've learned tips on facing adversity and moving forward from every guest. I hope you have too. Season three is going to be aligned with my unstoppable dream and the vision for the Onward Movement. Bravely embrace authenticity, release the fear of judgment so you can create the life of your dreams with confidence. My guests and I will dive into what it means to live an authentic life and we'll be sharing tools and tips that you can apply in your life as well. Look, it's a journey for all of us. Continuous learning is something all Onwarders embrace. And I'm excited to be bringing you season three of the Onward podcast in early 2021. Finally, as a recovering people pleaser, I've learned to speak up for what matters to me. In an Onward podcast episode published earlier this year, I stated my commitment to be true to my beliefs and take sustainable action to end social injustice. And that commitment still stands. And I keep it in the forefront of my mind. And I do my best to ensure that my actions align with my values and commitment in this area. Awareness is key. Notice things. Look at things from someone else's point of view or experience. Sometimes it's just little things that stand out, but they all add up. Here's an example. I publish a lot on social media and I'm always looking for stock photos that I, I can use with my posts. I use one particular app most of the time, but I find the same challenge wherever I look for stock photos. And that is to say, it's really hard to find stock photos of all different types of people, all skin colors, ethnicities, et cetera. I have to be intentional and really search to find photos that represent my audience. Imagine being in a Facebook group and all the photos used are of white people. And if there's a black person in the photo, it's a very light skinned black person. I made a post about this on my personal Facebook feed. And one response I got was along the lines of, what's the big deal? Just post photos that represent America skin color shouldn't matter. Well, it does matter because America is not all white. With that, I'll end this episode. And I want to thank you again for listening to my 100th episode and for your support of me, the Onward Podcast and the Onward Movement. Onwarders, I appreciate you. And I'd be honored if you could leave a review wherever you listen to the Onward Podcast, or if you could just send me a testimonial or review from my website. And please share this episode and others with your friends and others. It will help me reach a bigger audience and impact more lives.